where do you stand with your person what's going on with your connection at the moment what are they wanting from you what's going on oh. All the cards are dropping out. So, welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. I read tarot for you from the spare bedroom in my house. This tarot reading is timeless. It's from the moment you come into contact with it. It is up to you to claim the reading if you decide it's for you. Put a little like on the video. I'll see that someone out there has claimed the message that was here today. The cards have just leapt out, so I'm going to put them on the desk. I don't often do that. I often put them back in the, put them in the deck. But it's just like, like, right, they're out. So we've got the Three of Swords reversed, which is prolonged pain. We've got the Seven of Swords, which can be sneaky behaviour, trusting your instincts, and a little bit of a pension pop for the future. Um, the Fool a sense of personal freedom, and a seven of cups. Um, trying to decide what you want to do next. And now the nine of swords is dropping out. Oh, they're going all over the place. Right, so the nine of swords reversed is kind of self-doubt. The nine of swords, when it's reversed, it's less than what it is the normal way around for me anyway. Uh, so it's more self-doubt. Um, I've got a feeling that... Them cards are for you. So we're looking at where do you stand with your person, but that's telling me where they stand with you. You know, so I'm going to pull some cards, see what comes up for them. I think I might use another deck because so many cards have come out. And I want to see if you're both on the same path. So what I'm getting from those cards is this is an issue for you. It's been painful for a while. You're trying to decide what to do for your future. Um, with the Seven of Swords, you're trying to decide what to do for your future self. You want that sense of personal freedom back again. You want that carefree kind of fresh start again. But your energy is still connected to this person, so you still feel confused about it. And you've just got self-doubt. It's not sleepless nights. It's not worry. It's not stress. It's not any of those things. It's just like maybe you're here checking in. Um, am I moving forward? Is that what I'm doing? Because it feels like you feel ready to, you feel, it feels like, it feels like you're getting to the point of, yeah, I want something, I want something. Are they part of it or not? You know, it's like you just want to double check. But I do think this has probably been going on for a while. So I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Now let's see if we can read that energy so you know where you stand with them, so you know what to do with this. Um, the page of swords reversed, they let you down. They're acknowledging that. The eight of wands reversed, they closed off the communication. The lovers, lovers reversed is like... Yeah, I can understand why you're confused because they let you down. All the little promises that they made for you that they didn't see through with them. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just stopped replying to your messages, which isn't nice. And the lover's card, lover's card reversed is like a pattern of ways, frustration, um, not wanting to let go, but having to let go. So I can see why you've been feeling like, still connected to them and you don't want to give up on it just in case they come back but you're also now at the point of yeah but I want something and why should you hold your life on hold for someone that can't even be bothered to reply to your messages um and that's not me saying that that's like me thinking that's the energy I'm getting the queen of cups reversed the world and the four, four swords reversed they're out there in the world, you know. The Queen of Cups reversed is emotional, upset. The Four of Swords reversed is all about um, rejection, isolation. The King of Wands taking action. The Six of Cups reversed. The Seven, of, the Six of Wands reversed. Oh dear. What's interesting is none of the same cards have come out. I thought maybe they might, but they haven't. Um, 
it's almost like this person's really closed themselves off to you but because there's still some kind of link between you both it's not a direct link i don't think it may be far social media it may be far friends it may be work but there still feels there's some kind of link here between you both that's kept you holding on to a little bit of hope here um especially if they are the king of wands you know they're quite self-made um when they're passionate they're really really passionate you know but sometimes the king of wands when they flip they can be a bit fiery um the six of cups here is them acknowledging there's happy memories here the lovers card reversed is acknowledging that you were you were lovers um but also all the other cards are like confirming that they let you down, that they haven't replied to your messages, that they're out there in the world living life, that they know that you're in an emotional turmoil because of it and they're not doing anything to help that. But then again, they may be thinking that, oh, if I contact them, it may just stir it all up again. Um there's a lot of isolation and rejection coming from their part towards you, which is doesn't feel nice. And um, the six of wands reversed is like glory, or rewards, but in the future for something else. I think they're out in the world looking for something else. So, if, you know, it feels like you've got to the point now of you're ready to explore the world again. And what's really nice is that you've got the full card launched itself out of the deck as if to say... Come on, look, why are you watching a tarot reading about this again? We're off doing other things. Yeah. I'd take that message. I would, with the cards that come out of them. I don't even think they're, I don't think they're a bad person. I think they treated you unfairly. I think they treated you rather harshly. But when it worked, it was nice. They just made you promises they couldn't keep for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to pull... From the spellcasting oracle deck, see what other information we can get for you. Where do you stand with this person? Well, this person's out in the world, exploring the world. So maybe it's time to let go of that pain for this. And I do think that you're at the tail end of it now. It's just that little bit self-doubt. You know, stop putting your life on hold. Start living your life again. Um, I'm going to split the deck into four. They're living theirs, so you start living yours. And do it without any problems or guilt. You're hoping for reconciliation. Inspiration. Maybe they kind of told you, oh, this, this is... I'm going to come back and the inspiration cards pulling towards the king of wands. Um, maybe they didn't break up with you in a very clear way. Maybe they said, oh, I just need a bit of a break. Maybe they didn't say anything at all. Um, and there was a commitment here. There was absolutely a commitment here. And there's been hope of a reconciliation whether they said it directly or whether they gave you that impression or whether you've just been picking up on their energy indirectly I don't know um but it's like yeah you were committed to this person and I'm not saying that they weren't committed to you they just suddenly let you down really let you down trust you gotta find to trust people again blessings there'll be a point in your life where you look back at this and think yeah i weren't meant to be with them anyway animals trust your instincts always um fertility it's time for you to grow again clarity seeing this quite clearly psychic abilities that maybe what part of the problem is um that you pick up on their energy indirectly um it's almost like every time you get to the point of yeah moving on the energy some kind how somehow pulls you back in again. I don't know if it's from watching readings gets you connected to them again or something. But the fool jumped out of the deck while I was shuffling and I decided to take it. It's almost like the fool card's like, come on, what are we doing? No, we don't want this again. Let's not open this up again. We're off. We want to do something new and something fresh. It's time to let go of the pain. Put it behind you 
it's it's been and done and gone been and done and gone if if they were coming back they would have been back by now where do you stand with this person no it's it's just like it's time for you to start growing again because this person's out in the world doing what they want you know and that's not going to change and it must be confusing, especially if you had had a breakup before and then came back together with the reconciliation card there in the past. It feels like, you know, that may have happened before with this person. So it's got to be really confusing. It's time to start living again, though. It really is. And I think, I think you've got some kind of psychic ability that you, when you connect with someone... You, wow, you've, you're you connected, you know. And it may just take a really long time to sever that energy. But then what you have to do is you, you have to do the work of then recognising, oh, when I do this, this, it recycles the energy. So all of the things that you do that pulls this energy back in again, stop doing those things. Give yourself a break. Give yourself a chance. And start living for you without doubt without guilt without worry with a sense of personal freedom you have permission to live the rest of your life very happily so I'm gonna end reading here I'm gonna wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way if you feel this reading was for you put a little like on the video i'll see that someone out there has claimed the message that landed on my table today if you see purple hearts in my comments they are other people that make it to the end of the reading some people just like to lurk around and watch which is great if you're part of the club now you know there's hardly any of you if you write pull a card card please in the comments when i have my coffee tomorrow morning i will have a little shuffle and I will pull you a card. More than happy to do that. I'll see you soon.